The STA system allows you to use the birotational insertion technique to prevent needle deflection, minimizing missed blocks, making your blocks more accurate, and providing a shorter onset of anesthesia. Additionally, the STA is the only injection system available that allows one to employ a unique multi-cartridge injection. Let's discuss how to begin. Injection Technique the inferior alveolar mandibular nerve block. Set the STA system to the normal mode, which allows the STA system to function with two distinct flow rates, the control flow and the rapid flow rate. Utilize the control flow rate to administer a minimum of one quarter of the cartridge for the initial phase of the block injection. Once the patient feels the onset of soft tissue anesthesia, transition to the rapid flow rate. In the normal mode, the foot control has two distinct foot control positions. Depressing the foot control lightly allows you to enter the control flow rate. Fully depressing the foot control allows you to enter the rapid flow rate. It is recommended that you use a 27 gauge 1 and a quarter inch needle to perform the inferior alveolar nerve block. Set up the STA in the normal mode. Approach the site as you would normally using traditional anatomical landmarks of the oral cavity. To initiate the injection using cruise control, slightly depress the foot control. After three beeps, you will hear the STA system announce cruise. Immediately release the foot control pedal to enter into the cruise control mode. This allows the control flow rate to continue to dispense anesthetic solution, creating an anesthetic zone in front of the tip of the needle. The technique of creating an anesthetic pathway does require a very slow and deliberate needle movement, allowing the anesthetic solution to deliberately precede the path that the needle will take. Slowly advance the STA handpiece and simultaneously rotate the handpiece using a back and forth motion. This is called the birotational insertion technique and it will minimize needle deflection resulting in more accurate placement of the needle tip to the intended target. Advance the needle until bone is contacted. The final target is the medial aspect of the ramus within the infratemporal fossa. Once at your target site, perform an aspiration by depressing and releasing the foot control. If the aspiration is negative, continue the injection. If aspiration is positive, reposition the needle and repeat aspiration by depressing and releasing the foot control pedal again until a negative aspiration is obtained. Continue the injection by depressing the foot control pedal. It is recommended that the first quarter of the cartridge be dispensed using the control flow rate before you transition to the second faster rapid flow rate. The rapid flow rate is used during block injections, only after your patient has acknowledged that they have achieved soft tissue anesthesia of the area being injected. This is acknowledged by subjective statements elicited from your patient. When you have delivered the required dosage, you can remove the needle. To avoid anesthetic solution spray back into the patient's mouth, perform the following. While the needle is still embedded in the patient's tissues, depress and release the foot control pedal. Count three beeps after releasing the foot control, then totally remove the needle from within the patient's mouth. Direct the needle away from the patient as a small amount of anesthetic solution may still be present. Should you require more than one anesthetic cartridge, you can reload subsequent cartridges and continue as required. Please see the section on multi-cartridge technique. It is the sole responsibility of each practitioner to identify, select, and administer the proper drug and volume for a given patient. The following information serves as a suggestion and not meant as definitive guidelines for any specific patient. The suggested drug and volume to perform the inferior alveolar nerve block injection is 2% xylocaine HCL, one part per 100,000 epinephrine. A drug volume of 0.9 milliliters to 1.4 milliliters, which is equivalent to three quarters to one full cartridge, is the suggested volume when performing the inferior alveolar nerve block. If you elect to use a 4% concentrated local anesthetic drug, such as 4% articane, HCL, use one half the dosage previously suggested and use extreme caution when using these medications. Please refer to an appropriate textbook reference source 
for guidance and recommendation pertaining to local anesthetic solutions and specific volumes. You will find that using the STA system, using the STA wand handpiece and birotational insertion technique will allow you to deliver a more comfortable mandibular block with a greater success rate and a shorter onset of anesthesia.